Hey, howdy everybody, what's up, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm checking out Mir, Wheels Within Wheels, you know if you saw this and you clicked on it. I've never heard of this band, but Tundra recommended it in my Discord, by the way, link in description. If you're watching this on, uh, sorry, there's like a hair in front of my eyes, I can see it. I don't know if it's on my eyebrow or if it's just hanging down. Anyway, stuff like that bothers me. Uh, Tundra recommended it in my Discord, link in description. And Marius listened to it and said it's amazing and he loves it and it's really, really good. And if Marius likes something, chances are I'm going to like something because our music tastes are very similar. Case in point. These, 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 these two right here. I can't point. Oh my goodness. It's so hard pointing in reverse. Anyway, but those two albums up there. Big Marius W's. Big W's in my book as well. There you go. All right. Very happy to check this out. Heard it's good. Not going to waste any more time. Let's get into it. Do do do. Little town. It's a quiet village. What is this? Of monsters and men? Don't listen to a word I say. Ooh. I love that random Picardy third to the major chord there. Very orchestral. Beautiful. Mm, that violin. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the vocal harmonies are perfect. This is gorgeous. There it is. There's that chord. This is so happy. I love happy music. Oh, that violin really makes it. I still gotta fix some of my stuff back here. It looks like a mess. I don't like where the Majora's Mask thing is. I just kind of threw it up there because there was a screw and I just hung it on a screw. This feels like it's gonna be an insane grower album. It's very musically interesting. It's not very simple. It's like there's a lot going on. Synth solo. It's good so far. I like it. I don't think I love it, but I like it. It's got a lot going on. Like I said, there's a lot musically. I love the atmosphere. The layered vocals and the different kinds of vocals that they've got going on are super interesting. I don't know anything about the band themselves. Is there any info about them? What do we got? Alternative Pop Orchestra. This is so scuffed. Give me a second here. Here, this is my, sc this is my scuffed overview of the band. Look, we got guy in red shirt, guy in jacket and jeans. Girl in 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 black pants and and uh, you 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 can see you can use your eyes. So there's like a lot of people in this band. I don't expect it to be this big. Eight person band. Let's go back. Okay, I fixed it. Sorry for that. That's the band or mini orchestra, whatever you want to call it. Not what I expected, but I love it. Very strange chord progression. Yeah, their chords are all over the place. That's mainly what's making me wonder if this is going to hit harder on repeat listens. Because that's kind of what happened with In Mazes. With you, it's a lie, that's so strange. What a weird chord progression. One, major three, flat major seven. <laughs> what in the world are they thinking? Oh, uh, this is... This is really unique, actually. What's that? What, what? What? Yeah, like I said, I don't really love it, but it's very impressive. It's got a lot of strange harmo harmonic things going on. It's very good, though. I'm just not sure if I, I'm really feeling it fully on a first listen. Okay, this 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 reminds me of the chord progression for the the Twilight Realm from uh, Twilight Princess. Do 
you pick up what I'm putting in what I'm putting down, it's kind of it's kind of got the same vibes, dude. I I will always stand by the fact that Twilight Princess is a masterpiece, and it is uh, arguably the best 3D Zelda game, and like inarguably like this is cold hard fact that has the best music in the entire franchise has that sort of ethereal mystical vibe to it like the twilight realm music has this may be the best song so far mm -hmm. the way this is building is perfect Let's see where it goes. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good songwriting. Good songwriting. That's my favorite track so far. It's weird. It's very impressive musically. There's a lot of good stuff going on, but it's not quite into that like that area where like I I, I love it. I don't know how exactly I would get there because everything I'm hearing is really good so far. I just not, I I don't love it. You know. It's not quite there. We'll see. Oh, it's so soft. It's so soothing. These two tracks have been great. First two I liked, but these I... Was that, was that a voice crack? The first two I liked, but these I really like. You can tell there's a lot of talent here. This is gorgeous, dude. Wow. The violins came in. That made it really. The violins made it ten times better. I think I figured out why I don't love it. I think it has to do with the the way that the like the harmonies and the melodies are structured. Because stuff that I love with I don't know, take Destrier, for example. Agent Fresco with that album, they do like a lot of harmonically interesting things. And then the melodies not only I mean, they they follow the harmonies, but they do a lot of dissonance with the harmonies. And there's a lot of like major seventh chords, for example, things like that. Like, look at like the song "Wait for Me." That one, it's my favorite song on the album, and it's got a lot of the stuff that I love with like the dissonances between the harmony and the melody. I don't know. There's there's something about the chord progressions in that album specifically that just get to me. And here, there's not as much of that. There are some dissonances. It's not as prevalent as it is in other music that I love. Okay. All right. It's such a weird, unique album. I'm mainly just frustrated because I don't know why I don't love this. Like, I should love it, but I... It just doesn't quite get there. I'm more mad at myself that I can't figure this out. <laughs> why isn't this album amazing? Why? I mean, it, it, it's I'm not saying it's very good, but why? Why do I think I don't love it? I don't know. I can't place it. I can't tell. Ooh. Ooh, these breaks are like these breaks are awesome. Wanna be there and dance among them. I wanna feel the This is my kind of thing. That that right there that little snip, that's what I love. You know what? Maybe that's it. Maybe maybe the reason I don't like it is just the chord progression. Sorry, I, I don't love it because I like it. Maybe the reason I don't love it is the chord progressions. That might be it. All the chord progressions I've always talked about. Like, like a four to a one. I haven't noticed any of those chord progressions that I love. I'm not saying that music has to have those for me to love it. But there's like little snippets like that part right there where I'm like, whoa, whoa, this is really good. And then it, and it moves on. I think I think it's 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 like prog orchestral pop. And I think because of that, they're trying to do a lot harmonically. And I'm a fan of things that are more simple harmonically. I like things to get more complicated in terms of like the the rhythm or the 
just the 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 way that the instruments are like the instrumentation of things the songwriting which this is but it doesn't have that simplicity of melody melody and harmony that is in most of the music that i like absolutely adore like whenever i get around to talking about this album here alterum by julie Fowlis, whenever i talk about this i literally have it all scripted out i have i have the entire script i've had the script for months i just haven't made the video i don't know what's wrong with me i just keep forgetting or something i don't know but when i make this my favorite song on this album is literally a song that repeats the same verse i think seven times let me pull this up because i have it right here yeah in this script i talk about all of the all like every single like what changes in between every single time the verse is repeated i think it's eight times maybe i wouldn't say it's my favorite on the album but it's one of my favorites because i have so many favorites because this album's a, a masterpiece but yeah it repeats eight times and it keeps the same melody but there's some things that change harmonically there's some instruments that get added in there's some other things that come in here and there I'll, I'll talk about it when I make the video, but that is the kind of stuff that I love. Complexity within simplicity. Taking something simple and making it so interesting. Vola. It's Vola's entire thing. That's the definition of Vola. And this feels like taking something complex and making it sound simpler. And you're getting kind of a very similar vibe, but I just don't like this direction. I like the other direction, if that makes sense. Yeah, this part. Wanna be there and dance among them. I wanna feel the fire. That that's feel so beautiful, that little part there. I need more Rolling. of that, please. Wanna be long. Wanna be there and dance among them. I wanna be there Woo. now. Today This could be the best song depending on how this tomorrow. develops over the next four minutes. Do it. Yeah. That reminds me of uh, Sondheim. Stephen Sondheim. I used to be big into musicals. I'm not really anymore. I find them very cringe. I find musical culture just very cringe in general. But Sondheim, nothing but bangers. Do just like everything he writes is perfect. If you've seen uh, Sweeney Todd or Into the Woods, he did the music for that. I think he did. He did something with West Side Story. I think he helped write the music or like he wrote the lyrics or something for West Side Story. But yeah, that kind of reminds me of something that he does. He goes, he like does like a two chord progression. He goes between two chords and then he's got these like th these weird like rhythm switch ups where it goes like it cha it'll change meter or it'll do stuff. He is like the musical version of all the stuff that I love that I've talked about in this channel with like taking simple stuff and making it complex. Like if you've not heard anything from Stephen Sondheim, please go listen to the Sweeney Todd soundtrack, at least the movie version, please. <laughs> don't, don't listen to the musical version. It's a little cringe. The movie version is very good. It's got Johnny Depp, Helena Bonham Carter, all that kind of stuff. Same with Into the Woods. Another great movie musical adaptation. Sondheim's chords and his harmonic progression and the melody unparalleled. It's masterful. So please do yourself a favor and go listen to some of that. Even if you don't like musicals, bangers. See, I just feel like there's too much going on in the harmony. They don't give you enough time to appreciate some of the chords and like the chord progressions because every chord is different. It doesn't feel like much is repeated. I don't like that stuff as much. The song is gorgeous, though. Just Trans-Siberian Orchestra? Man, this album is, like, really conflicting. It's doing a lot of stuff that's really good. But I just don't love it. You get honesty on this channel. I'll say what I what I have to say. Here's another honest take that might maybe some people disagree with. I despise 80s music. I think it's some of the worst music ever written. This reminds me of some 80s music sometimes. 80s music, one of the biggest things I don't like about it, besides everything being like way too synth heavy and just sucking in general, uh, they were afraid to write good melodies and stick with it. Like good melodies and harmony combos. There's lots of songs that have like one or two bars of like, whoa, this could be really good. And then it's gone and they never develop it. It's like, why? 
Like you had something genius here for a second and then it's just gone. That's one of the main reasons that I dislike 80s music. 70s music is great though. 80s love songs, the worst genre of music. I've always said that I'll never throw aside a whole genre just because I don't like a few songs. But 80s love songs are the exception. Absolutely the worst genre of music ever. Nothing good there. Haven't heard a single good 80s love song and I've heard a lot. I could rant about this forever, but I'm not going to. But I get some of the vibes of, not not the laziness here, but I get some of the vibes of the, the like, being afraid to stick with something that 80s music has sometimes. Like, being afraid to stick with something good. Musically, it's so interesting, though. I'm just very picky about what I like in music, and I'm not afraid to say it. Y'all know I have many controversial music opinions many this feels like a last of us song something you'd hear in that game i feel so weird about this album nine minute final track i really hope this is a grower album because i want to love this cool okay and that's the album it was good. It was very technically impressive, but it just felt like it was missing something. I was just kind of bored for some sections of it, especially the last two tracks were, were kind of boring. Maybe boring is not the best word, but like they felt like they dragged. I felt like they overstayed their welcome without being interesting enough to justify their runtime. But it's still good. There's so much talent here. I mean, it's an eight person group. There's a lot of instruments. There's really good vocal harmonies. The stuff that's good is, is really good. The stuff that I don't like as much, I wouldn't even call bad. It's just stuff I don't like. But I do have to say, it goes hard. At the end of the day, it's still good music. Even if they don't do everything that I love. And not all music has to be written for me, you know? I'm just a guy. Just a dude, what do I know? Well. A lot when it comes to music but my tastes are very specific i'm very picky with the music that i like but those are my thoughts on a first listen this is definitely something i'll update you on in a podcast episode let me know your thoughts like the video comment subscribe all the youtube stuff all that fun stuff catch you later bye